Thanks for tuning in at Brackies. Hello everyone and welcome to maybe the most exciting video I've done in quite some time. So the last couple of weeks I've been working on an editor extension for Unity and it just went live on the Unity Asset Store. The editor extension is called Unity Pixel Art Toolkit and it makes it fast and easy to create pixel art sprites without leaving the comfort of Unity. So if you need to uh, f uh, efficiently and, and quickly create some pixel art, now you don't even have to leave Unity, you can just do it inside of Unity itself. So you, whoops, <laughs> UPA Toolkit is currently uh, available for free on the Unity Asset Store. And uh, it currently requires Unity 4.6.1 or higher, and that's the current version as of the recording of this video. But I've just submitted a uh, an update that uh, makes it compatible all the way back to Unity 4.3. Um, so once that gets approved, it should be updated here, and uh, then uh, you guys with with a, a lower version can use it too. But Enough said uh, for now. Uh, I will also quickly say that it's available on GitHub and encourage you to leave a review because it really helps out um, with uh, getting noticed on the asset story uh, if you guys leave a hopefully positive <laughs> review, but that's of course up to you. Any review is better than, than nothing. So I've rambled on way too much. Let's get started. So if you uh, click on the link in the description or just go to uh, the asset store and search for UPA Toolkit, uh, you can see uh, browse to it and open up in Unity. Simply click that button there. And I've already imported it and all that. It won't take long. It's, it's under one megabyte, the entire uh, toolkit. So it's very fast to download. Once you've downloaded it, you will notice that you have this new folder, UPA Toolkit, and inside of this is the entire extension. We have a README that doc, uh, with some documentation on how to get started and um, uh, some, some, uh, some stuff about the GitHub page and uh, also the shortcuts if you want to uh, move faster throughout the UI. And then also all of the C Sharp scripts. Um, the toolkit is written entirely in C Sharp, and uh, all the code is, of course, publicly available, uh, so you can just change anything you want. And uh, if you want to redistribute or uh, help me uh, develop this, uh, this, uh, this extension, I suggest you check out the GitHub page and um, um, have a look at the license file. There's also a a guide on how to contribute to the project if you want me to improve on this because there are of course still improvements to be made this is still uh, version 1.0 I'm showing you so um, keep that in mind cool now let's get started with creating a, a pixel art sprite so to do this let's go to window and you will notice that there's now a new tab called pixel art editor or simply press ctrl shift p we're going to click that and uh, let's just dock this up here by the scene uh, and game uh, tabs. And you can see that I've uh, uh, made my UI ready for painting. So we have this huge area for painting, which is really nice. Then I'm going to go ahead and cr uh, click cr uh, new image. It's going to pop up with a dialog where I can change the resolution. The width is going to be 16 and the height is also going to be 16. Now hit create and you can name and place uh, your image anywhere you want. This is not the final image uh, uh, file, this is the project file, sort of say. And I'm going to name this uh, Mushroom, because I'm going to be creating the Mushroom uh, from Mario that we all love. Now hit save, and you can see that it opens up this canvas here, uh, this empty canvas, um, that where the uh, almost entirely white cells represent uh, what is currently transparent. And uh, you can see we have this toolbar uh, where we can zoom in and out or using these buttons. Uh, we can uh, open other images or create new ones or export when we're done. Select a color. We have three tools, paint, erase, and you will notice if we click box fill, this is currently in development. I'm working as hard as I can on that. Then we can use WASD or the uh, uh, up and down arrow keys to navigate if that's what you want or simply center it on the view. And then we can tr uh, switch between black and white grid lines. So if you're making something that is uh, quite black, uh, you can um, change this to white. 
Cool. So I'm just going to go ahead and uh, quickly paint on uh, some stuff here and I'm going to speed through it and I'll see you when I'm done. Okay, so I'm done with creating my mushroom here. I think it looks quite like the Mario games. And now I can simply uh, hit export up here. It's going to select itself. Uh, then we can change the save as type. Uh, notice that if you save as a JPEG, you will lose transparency. And this also requires 4.5 uh, to work. So most of the time, I don't see any reason why you wouldn't use PNG, but the option is there. And then we have the texture type where you can simply change between a sprite, uh, which uh, the uh, 4.3 system uses, or a texture if you want to apply it to a game object. Now we, uh, we can simply hit export, and we can uh, change uh, where we want to save this or whatever. I'm simply going to save it under the assets folder and uh, call it mushroom. Now hit save, and you will notice that our mushroom appears down here. Uh, and it set up all the import settings so it works with pixel art. You can, of course, change the pixels per unit, the pivot point, all that if you're not satisfied. One thing you will have to do in this current version is change it from compressed to true color, um, just to make sure that the colors are right. Uh, if not, they might look a bit odd, and that's something I'm going to change uh, it to do automatically, of course, in a, a version to come. So now we can simply go into the scene view. Uh, the um, uh, project here I'm in is, is the one from the 2D platformer series. So check that out if you're interested. And then we can simply drag it into our scene. And there you go. You've created a pixel art sprite that you can use inside your scene uh, like any other object. We could maybe uh, add a physics component here, a rigid body and a circle collider and hit play. And you will notice that it's simply just works it will fall to the ground here and we can push it over and it's part of the scene and if we want to make any changes uh, this is where the um, system here becomes incredibly useful we simply go back to the pixel art editor uh, make the change we want let's say we want something in here to be blue don't know why we would do this but we are doing it like this <laughs> um, we can simply uh, hit export again export and just override it and now it's updated in the scene view and it will work. So it's so, so fast and easy to do. Uh, of course, if you want to do more advanced stuff, uh, you can also use this PNG. Just open it up in Photoshop if you want to do, uh, uh, if, if you think a tool is missing or something. Um, but really, if, if you have any uh, features you want to request, go to the Brachius forum, go to the GitHub page, um, I, I should be possible to reach and uh, I, I really want to know what you guys would like this tool to be and how you would uh, like to see it grow in the future. So thanks for watching this introduction video to UPA Toolkit version 1.0. I hope you enjoyed it and um, please again leave a review. Uh, it helps out a lot. Um, I, I've shared this asset for free uh, in hopes that it will reach as many people as possible and uh, maybe make their lives a, a tiny bit uh, easier. <laughs> um, so just leave a review. It, it's, it's crazy how much it helps. So again, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it and uh, I'll see you in the next video.